it's about time we dropped a truth bomb. A lot of people these days have this really limited view of self-care. They think it's all about being self-indulgent and just pampering yourself, but that's not even close to the real deal. And there's actually a term for this. It's called self-coddling. Self-coddling refers to the act of excessively comforting or pampering oneself, often to the point of indulgence or avoidance of challenges or discomfort. You'd be surprised how often self-love is disguised as something harmful, like self-coddling. In today's society, the term self-love is thrown around as if it's the latest trend and it can sometimes be used to cover up unhealthy habits. This is why we're breaking down the five signs that you don't wanna miss to help you understand the crucial difference between self-love and self-coddling. Only what's comfortable. Imagine this, your crush asks you out on a date to go hiking. You can't believe it because you've wanted them to ask you out forever. But you're more of an indoor activity kind of person and you worry that you'll embarrass yourself if you go. So you decline. You convince yourself it's self-love because your social battery is low and you need a chill night in. But you can't shake that sad, disappointing feeling and wonder what you missed out on. Only doing what's comfortable is a classic sign of self-coddling. Self-help content creator Kat Alethro explains that coddling perpetuates the notion of a lack of self-trust and that caring for yourself requires you to push yourself and show yourself that even if you fail, you will be okay. So even if you go on that hike and something embarrassing happens, it's unlikely it'll make or break your relationship. Instead, it could be a chance for you two to bond or even share a first kiss with an epic view. And if they did make fun of you, then you can count yourself lucky that you figured out their true colors knowing you'll be better off without them. Just perfect. Ever notice people who get offended just by the idea that they could do something wrong? And when confronted, they completely deny it. It's like how Mary defended herself in the film Persuasion, saying, I'm just too kind and that's my problem. I give all of my attention to others and then I suffer for it. Self-love isn't only about loving what you do right. It's about accepting all of you, including being able to identify your flaws and work on them. Remember, coddling is when you ignore or downplay your flaws and are unwilling to acknowledge their presence. So which have you been really doing? If you find this video relatable and helpful, please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Now, moving on to the next point, low self-esteem. Self-coddling is often rooted in how your parents or caregivers raised you. David Rock, who holds a doctorate in the neuroscience of leadership, explains kids can grow their self-esteem and status by doing difficult things and by being told they're capable of more and seeing this in themselves. If your parents or caregivers always removed any challenge that's in your way, their over-involvement may have taught you that you can't handle difficult things yourself, which can make you feel incapable explains self-help content creator, Kat. This is why parental coddling, which leads to self-coddling, often results in long-term consequences, such as low self-esteem. You might feel overwhelmed at the mere thought of facing obstacles because you've been conditioned to believe that you lack the capability to handle them on your own. Entitled. Does the term helicopter parents sound familiar? It's a term that is used to describe parents who coddle their children. Helicopter parents can be allergic to the word no, catering to their child's every request, doing whatever it takes to protect them, explains journalist Taylor Bennett. Even though their intentions are usually good and they wholeheartedly believe that they're acting in their child's best interest, the hyperprotection can inhibit the development of a child's crucial life skills. This can lead to a cycle of self-coddling as an adult, where you constantly seek external validation, support, and comfort, as you didn't have the opportunity to gain confidence in how to overcome problems on your own has to be relaxing. When your cup is empty, it's natural to want to do what's comfortable or easy. If the choice is a walk in nature or curling up with some sweet treats and binging your favorite show, the show will usually win. But what's important to understand about self-love is that it's not always doing what's relaxing. In fact, sometimes the best thing you can do is the thing you're dreading. Do you ever notice that you feel so much better after turning off all digital noise and spending time with a pet or taking a late night drive like the world gets calm and quiet or the feeling of relief after talking to your therapist when it would have been easier to keep it all inside. Self-love isn't always easy, but you're always worth it. Are you looking for a cuddly companion that brings positivity and mental wellness to your daily life? Get your very own sigh. 
the lovable plushie is here to brighten your days. It embodies the spirit of Psych2Go, and it serves as a reminder to prioritize your mental well-being. Its green leaf symbolizes growth, renewal, and the importance of self-care, whether it's for yourself or as a thoughtful gift for a loved one. Sai is ready to be your snuggly friend through all of life's ups and downs. Buy your Psy plushie today. Link is listed in the description box. If you found this video helpful, be sure to hit the like button and feel free to comment below with your thoughts, experiences, or suggestions on self-coddling. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell for more new videos. As always, thanks for watching.